Please welcome Patricia Heaton, everybody. Yeah, 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 give the chair oh, time to set. Nice. Yes. Oh, More, uh, we had it specially prepared for you. <laughs> you puffed it up. We had a, we had you had a, a fluffer? We had, a, we had the chair fluffed, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, you look sensational. Thank well you. done. Oh, what a lovely looking you. woman you are. Oh, well, that's nice. No, no, it's true. Uh, Tell me about this uh, bituminous. Uh, bituminous? Di bituminous. Bituminous. Uh, you got an education there yeah. over in old. Uh, are these. Uh, are these beauty queens, uh, they, they go down, are uh, they coal mine? They coal mine no, and they... No, uh, the, the town is a coal mining town, Carmichael's, right. Pennsylvania. The whole area of southwestern Pennsylvania are coal miners, and they have a, a, a beauty pageant for their high school girls and, ah, right. and to run as the bituminous, it's bituminous coal as opposed to... Uh, single digit coal, I don't know what. Anthracite. Uh, anthracite. Yes. Oh, you see, I, I'm frightened of spiders. Oh. <laughs> Bituminous coal is soft and anthracite is hard. Ah, right. So we were going to call it soft, not hard, but it sounded a little porny, so we just... <laughs> so we Do you know <laughs> Sylvester Stallone did a porn? <laughs> he did? Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, he did. I heard it's his birthday today. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this all myself, you know. I don't have staff. Not like some people. I feel such a fool. Really, I do. Look, I think they actually, in England, they celebrated it today. Oh, yeah, that's that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's that's because right. of jet lag and yeah. all that. And right. Hawaii is not his birthday until next year. It yeah, no, it's not. But were you ever a beauty queen in Pennsylvania? Uh, I'm from Ohio, but um, no. I, actually, um, in my sorority in college, um, I was the second runner up in the Fiji Queen of Hearts pageant. Wow. <laughs> That's very nice. What is the Fiji Queen of Hearts pageant? Um, it, Did you dress up as an island girl? <laughs> the Fijis, um, what, is the, what is the actual, who, what are Fijis? Like, uh, I was a DG, that's Delta Gamma. Oh, I see, it's a so sorority thing. the Fijis thing. are what? Five, I don't know, I'm a high school five dropout. Five yeah. something something or other. Yeah. yeah. But you, you, you were... Second runner up. Second runner up. Who, yeah. was, who won? Um, not anybody that got a job on yes, Everybody Loves Ravens. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Also, <laughs> now why are you, why, 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 are you, by, why by two minutes call, you might ask why, me. Why, uh, no, I did or, ask you that, didn't I? Yes, didn't you I did, ask you about I, by two I, minutes call? I, I like myself why, instead. But, but producing movies, that's a very odd, I didn't think you'd go from sitcom into producing films. Well, this just was a fluke, you know, I was out to dinner with a couple of girlfriends, and one of them, Sarah Rush, was the 1972 bituminous coal queen, and I did not know this about her. Right. And so um, she started telling us all about it, and it sounded great. The town and the people and the and just the it was kind of odd. And I said, this sounds like it would be a great documentary. And my husband David Hunt literally three weeks later took two camera crews down. I didn't even I wasn't there. I just produced it. But he went and took the camera crews and shot so for ten days. So your husband directed it. Then? Yeah. Well, that's and, quite and, nice. Director and producer yeah, married to each other. Yeah. And you know that's something. Um, we've been wanting to do we have a production company for voice films and and the thing about this movie is it's really about small town america and the people in carmichael's i feel are <clears throat> really the kind of people that are the backbone of america and that what makes this country great they're hard working they're very cheerful and optimistic and and they have hard jobs that don't get recognized unless there's a huge, uh, a huge accident tragedy or, something. or something but yeah, other yeah. than that they're not acknowledged very much but they have such a sense of community and you know it's been a hard time in this country over the last few years and america's americans take a bad rap and i just thought do you we think need to that, be reminded yeah. of like who we are as Americans and why this is a great country and how wonderful do you, it is. Do you think? Do you think that kind of small town is going away? Do you think that that's happening? Um, I think for this, for coal mining towns, because this oh, town trust only me, has. I, where I'm yes. from, in my part of the world, yeah, the coal mining's all yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, it, for this town, I think you know it's going to change definitely. I don't know if it'll yeah, go away, yeah. but it's definitely going to impact the community. So it was kind of nice. It's almost um, having a time capsule for for this way of life. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. It, it seems very interesting. I can't. I can't wait to have a look at it. We've got to yeah. take a break. We'll be right okay. back. We'll be right back with Patricia Heaton, okay. everybody.
Raymond Eden, where uh, everybody loves Raymond, was That's, a fantastic well, it's show. That's funny, you know. Yeah. It's, you know. I always laugh at it. And, That's uh, good. <laughs> well, it's, you know, you, I was on a plane once, and uh, I, they were showing it on the plane. Yeah. And I had the headphones on. I would laugh my head off. I don't know how loud I was because I had the headphones on. And laughing and laughing at it, and the steward came by afterward, and he said, I just think it's so cute you laugh at your own show. <laughs> I have to laugh at my own show, yeah. Somebody's got to. Do, right? do you miss it? Do you miss doing the sitcom yeah, every day? Um, no, I don't miss doing the sitcom every day, but I miss seeing everybody, yeah. you know. It, it's kind of like, you know, you, you want to get the job, but you don't want to do the job. It's like, you know, I like the fun of it. And, and the boy, And the money yeah. and, and stuff. And, yeah. you know, it was a great job. We had fun every day when we went in. Um, but it's nice to have a break because I got all the kids and it's, yeah, you, you got know, four like kids, four, then four boys. Boys, yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah. And your husband is British, is that? And right? my husband's British. How did you meet your husband? Um, well, I had been living right outside of New York City, and I wanted to move um, back into the city to be closer to the guy I was dating. So I sublet this guy's apartment, and it turned out to be my now husband's apartment. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you he was your landlord, then? He was my landlord. Did he come around and say, you must pay the rent? And you were like, I have no money. And he said, wow, I have an idea. Was it a bit of that? No. No, huh? No. He went off to do some Shakespeare, uh, but we had to keep in touch because of the phone bills and the rent and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and he had, had, was dating someone at the time, and I was dating this other person. And Does that ever happen in show business, that people are dating other people, but they meet, and then they, they start dating each other? Never. I've never heard of it. <laughs> Like, for example, Brad and Angelina, that never happened. No, right, right, right. right. Yeah, I know, Everybody that just never... goes home at the yeah, end of the yeah. day, you know, just clocks no. out, you know. That's it. Yeah. Morning, Ralph. Yeah. Morning, Bill. <laughs> uh, yeah. You remember that cartoon? Yeah, the cartoon. Yeah, you have the dog yeah, yeah. and the... Uh, and then they fight and fight. They fight and then they, fight, they, and then they clock, clock out at the end of the day. Do you like the Roadrunner cartoon? I, I love the Roadrunner. Oh, my. We'll, we'll get back we'll to we'll get you in a second. Anyway, what's your favorite Roadrunner? Well, I like the Roadrunner. Although, I have to say, if I was that coyote, I'd start using a different company than Acme because all the stuff... <laughs> Blows it, up. I was, you know, try another company. Everything. <laughs> the anvils are terrible. You know, that's my, it's one of my kids' favorite things to do in the house is make the sound where something falls and they go... And then there's silent and then... Yeah, I love that. Because you would wait and wait. And then, yeah. It's funny. It was the only thing that made my father laugh. Really? Yeah, the Roadrunner. I could never make him laugh, but the Roadrunner yeah. could make him laugh. That's like genius. It the is, genius. is genius. And what's and great about having the kids is you, I wouldn't normally, well, you, do you still watch it? Yeah, well, I, I, I have a five-year-old boy. Oh, okay, okay. I make him I watch it, say, though. Why I'm is like, he watching Roadrunner? I, you know, I got back into it because the kids watch it. Yeah, so they're yeah. like, oh, I forgot how great this was. No, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic, the Roadrunner. Do you watch the, uh, the what's the other one, the Family Guy? That's great for very young children. The f <laughs> so. I didn't know that at first. Oh, I you didn't put your no, kids on No, no, no. I had a DVD and I thought it's a cartoon. I'll put it on for my boy and I'm like, Whoa! Oh my. And he like, asked okay, me. He's... By the way, don't show him South Park either. No, just, no. Just heads but up on I that. I didn't. Because I, I, I usually I let him watch, you know, movies, Clockwork yeah. Orange, something like that. But... You taking him to the Omen tonight yeah, after I'll the show? Yeah, take him to the Omen. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, well, well, you know, it's yeah. my hair. <laughs> it's, it's lovely talking to you, and, and I wish you continued success as a Thank movie you producer. So much. I'm very impressed that you're oh, doing all this kind of stuff. Thanks. And it's lovely to meet you. Patricia you Heaton, do. everybody, we'll be right Hello, Patricia Heaton, everybody. Patricia Heaton. Tired. I stayed up way too late last night. Really? And it was Watching the show? <laughs> it was even more course. pathetic. Oh, oh really? What? <laughs> <laughs> Watching old episodes of Everybody Loves Raymond. Where are you really? Like, yeah. So I, I had to do something for the Museum of Television and Radio, and I had yeah. to watch one episode and comment on it. And I got out the season five that it was in, 
and uh, just, oh, look, oh, the Italy episodes. Let's just watch that first. Oh, the, and, oh, the canister. Oh, I love that one. Let's watch the canister. Really? And it was 3.30 before I got to bed. I looked at the clock. Wow. Uh, and now you're up at, oh, past midnight, uh, depending on <laughs> your local station. Uh, who, who could say? Burning the candle. Yeah. yeah both do you do that then? You do Because a lot of actors have a problem looking that at themselves. Was, Oh, oh, I, you know, I don't know. I think Raymond, I don't know. I've always loved watch. I can watch myself act. I can't watch myself on a show like this. Really? Yes. Well, I'm acting. There's a distance. I'm being someone else. I'm doing a technical thing that I can judge technically. When I'm watching myself as me, that's just if I'm an ass, I'm an ass. It's not, yeah. it's not, it's not somebody else being an ass. It's not me yeah. pretending to be an ass. It's I, I'm an I, ass. I, I have that problem. I said ass great, five times. You, you said a lot of ass there. That's a lot of ass. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of with the theme, uh, opening theme it's of the your ass show. show. It's the big ass show we're doing tonight. <laughs> big giant ass show. Oh, I think at a certain boy, point, you have to start bleeping that word. Yes. Because if you use it too much, it's one of those words, you only get a certain amount. A few months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was hoping that asteroid would actually come back before I have to go out to another paintball park or a laser tag game. So, any day now. Uh, uh, have be you been doing a lot me. of paintballing and laser tagging? <laughs> What? I have four sons. Oh, that's yeah, of all course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's very yes. busy for you doing yes. all that. But you're a yes. movie producer now. That's what I don't understand. How, how right? did that yes. happen? Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, my husband... Can I just, can I just stop yes. you for a minute? You haven't seen the movie yet. Don't clap. <laughs> No, it's a wonderful movie, Amazing Grace, and as you saw the clip, uh, Albert Finney and Joan Griffith. That's Welsh, right? Is well, that, I don't know. I, I have nothing right? to do with them. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. We um, don't all know each other, you know. <laughs> Your country's like that yeah, big, no, right? No, 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 no. And also, Wales, Scotland, different countries. I know, I'm just saying. Me. My husband, you know, yeah. he's, he's, he's not English, he's British, right? Uh, no, I, if he says that, he's probably English. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's very complicated it's very, to keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't call him Australian either. That no, really no. gets his Well, no, up. nobody likes that. Not no. even the Australians. <laughs> you know. So it's, yeah, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Lay off with the dingoes and all that kind of stuff. I'm kidding. Yeah. yeah so, um, so how did we get on this? Oh, producing, producing a movie. Yeah, I'm producing yeah. a movie, um, and it's out, and it's uh, called Amazing Grace. Right, and right, right. Um, we got that. William Wilberforce was the, sort of the, the Abraham Lincoln of England. That's a good way to put it. Well, he, he he certainly abolished uh, slavery the or slave the slave trade, trade in, yes, in, in Britain. in Europe, yeah. And he, uh, but he was he a prime minister? I don't know. I guess no. He... His best friend William Pitt. Right. The younger. Right. Well, How do I know all this? I went to Ohio State. It's amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. that I know any of this. But your husband is your husband. My husband is, that? is British and we have a production company for Boys Films and we he had loved this story and we had started trying to develop it. Right. And then we, uh, we found out Walden Media wanted to do it and they had thirty million dollars. They, they have the people that made the Narnia movie. Narnia. That and, movie's uh, got the talking beavers in it. Uh, it's, I love that movie. <laughs> That is but here, no, there, there's a scene in it that I thought because the the movie with it when the beavers are are you know talking and they they have to get across this thing and the beavers are worried they're going to fall in the water and I'm yeah. thinking you're beavers, <laughs> why is it and they're like the ice is melting we must get across and I'm like no, you're a beaver swim you actually live in the water what the hell is wrong with you is this is a special Narnia beaver that can't swim like you can either talk or swim that's a decision you have to make as a beaver. <laughs> So I was saying yeah, about yeah, my baby. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm sorry, it's just a thing with me. Uh, yeah, apparently. Um, and so, uh, so uh, Walden and, and, and Dave and I and uh, many other people produced this movie. Michael Apted directed it. Oh, you know, no, Michael, he, that's, the wonderful that director, did Lover. Coal Miner's good, Daughter, yeah, Gorillas yeah. in the Mist. And yeah. um, wonderful cast. You saw Albert Finney and Rufus Sewell. And, uh, so you got everybody in it. We got every, we got all, you know, they'll work for tea and a cucumber sandwich. Yeah, so. in Britain? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they will. Over there. It's true. They've got all the costumes in their closet. They're in costume. Yeah. They wear them. <laughs> they walk around. Hello, little pussy. Are you an actor? No, I'm just like this. Yeah. So we got to take a break. Okay. Now. We'll be right back. Okay. We'll be right back with Patricia Eaton, everyone. You said I could come back. Yeah, well, I changed my mind. I'm taking the bathroom. You can just go out and think about monkeys. Now get out. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Get out. Watch yourself.
<laughs> Doesn't even work. <laughs> Everybody, I'm here with the lovely Patricia Heaton. That See was why I stayed up till 3.30 yeah, watching no, my own show. Story. It's a very funny show. Do you miss those days? Do you miss working I, on that you show? You know, I, when I... When I watch the, the bloopers reels where I see us like talking to each other off camera or when, yeah. I, I remember emailing Ray and saying, oh, I'm, this is two years. It took me two years to start getting kind of homesick for seeing everybody and everything. Um, but I'm going to be doing a, a, a new doing show. You're doing a new sitcom, yeah, right? so. Is it with CBS? Um, it is not. Well, then I don't want to, want to hear about okay. it. I, uh, no, I do. I do. do. Who are you, who are you doing about? I keep looking at my shoes while you're talking to me. I don't yeah, know why I'll, that I'll is. When I get uncomfortable, I'm looking at my shoes. They're nice shoes. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, um, for for another network, yeah, and uh, with Kelsey Grammer. Oh, he's he's yes, yes. 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 Yeah. he's the Fraser man. He's the Fraser man. Yeah, yeah well, he's a very nice man, Kelsey yes, Grammer. Yeah, yes. So you're going back and doing sitcom again? I am. I mean, I was looking for one to do because I only have time to do a, a multiple camera show because they they're very short to shoot. The hours are short, so yeah, I needed so to, like to do that. It's like half an hour a week or something. It you, is. Right? It, it yeah. is. Um, and, uh, you know, single camera shows are 14 hours a day. I can't get to the paintball bark and back. And, and you are, I mean, you're a fiction now in this town in Hollywood and stuff like that. And I, I sometimes wonder how comfortable it is for you because you've been quite outspoken about your views, which are kind of to the right of Hollywood. And all. It's not a, a popular stance. I mean, I think, get, Does yeah. anyone give you a hard time? Uh, I've had some people drunkenly come up to me at events and... Well, I've had that too. You know? that's, <laughs> that's the good part. Yeah. <laughs> As occasionally somebody will say something and, and um, you know, I, I think part of the thing is, too, I, you want to kind of box somebody in, and I don't think I actually fall in line to the right on everything, but the media kind of likes to put it that way. Yeah. And not that I'm backing off of any stance I've taken, but it's just hard, the, the Internet, and That's what people I was are say, so the nasty on the Internet. Mean. They sit in their little dark rooms and say nasty things. I know, that's them. what you've got to be on all, all the time. time. And look Cam nice all the time. They're so mean I know, to, to I know. women, I, especially. I would make up all the time I have. <laughs> Yeah. They are, though, and people expect it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, but then again, you do get the pay and the perks, you know. I mean, so maybe it comes I, with There it. were some perks this weekend, I have to say. Really? I went to uh, Disneyland and got to skip through the line. Ooh, Didn't have to that, wait an that hour That doesn't make you popular with people. Yeah. You just try not to look at the people that have waited for an hour and a half yeah. with a three-year-old, oh, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the best fun, thing to do, if I, I ever got say. one of these passes, I'd be like, I've got a pass! <laughs> That would make people like me, I think. Yeah. 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 But no, it was really, it was a lot of fun. I did a lot. I did the paintball, I did the laser tag, I did Disneyland, all in the space of three days. So. You're, you're a good mom and a good actress, and oh, I'm glad to thanks. see you back in the sitcom. Come back and see us when you get going. And Amazing that, Grace we? opens February 23rd. Then I'll be in first in line. Patricia Heaton, everybody. We'll be right back with Fernanda Nagy. My first guest tonight, I don't know if she speaks Spanish. She's the star of The Middle, uh, which is on Wednesdays on ABC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be more genteel with it. ABC. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. Please welcome the very lovely Patricia Heaton, everybody. Patricia Heaton. I saw you, I looked kind of You looked grungy. great. You looked great. I we saw run into each other in the hood, and I'm always looking kind of It's not really of, the hood, is it? It was a rather nice street. It's a nice street. And you were parking next to me. That's Very right. nice parking. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Have you. Have you been parking long? Um, <laughs> well, because my son is trying to get his driver's license. Is he we're really? doing a lot of driving and parking lately. So. Really? Did you, are you teaching your kid how to drive? Well, he took lessons and right. then he has his learner's permit and so now I drive around with him a lot until well, he takes be, his test. It must be awful. Okay, you, if you hear someone's sphincter <laughs> <laughs> tightening, that's me in the car with my son. That's what you hear. I see you're at home at the moment. <laughs> 
You're relaxing and enjoying. <laughs> yeah, if you hear that squeaking sound, that's me. That does, that's me like that's, this. That, is that a condition that you have, a kind of squeaking sound? O only when, you when you're driving with a 16-year-old who doesn't have his license No, yet. that would be very... I, I yeah, don't, I'm teaching my son to drive. How old's your son? Eight and a half. <laughs> At Legoland? Are you doing Legoland no, 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 or no. what? No, no, no. SUV. <laughs> yeah. Freeway. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, I, I, I do. I'm not looking forward to any of that yeah. at all. Now, how are you otherwise? Are you good? I'm I like great. your dress. It's purple. Thank you very much. It's, it's grape. Grape? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. It is. I, it's very, very nice. It grapes has a, which are purple. It, yeah. some, some grapes are purple, that's yeah, true. Th yes, uh huh. And some are green. <laughs> Anyway, what I was going to say was, I think it has a quite an ecclesiastical feel about oh, it. Oh, ecclesiastical! It has a kind of, yes, it has a kind of churchy feel. It does. Like robes. Do you have a sister who's a nun? I do. Well, there you are. Then I... you could you could hang out with her wearing that dress. Well, you know, she's she's fun to hang out with. She causes quite a stir when she comes to Los Angeles. Does she wear the robes? Yeah, she's in a um, she's a Dominican. Right. And it's but a, a she's, teaching order. Has an and that's American a passport. Yes. Right. And, but it's a, it's a it's a conservative order. It's a no. A, a conservative order. So she has a full veil and a full white, uh, you know, uh, robe, whatever they call right. it, and a big, you know, those big honking rosary beads hanging down. Right. And does she sing? How do you solve a problem? No, like actually, <laughs> you know, when she when she was she came with a, a couple other nuns um, to visit. And um, I was at work, and my husband called, and he said, you gotta, you got to get home. There's two nuns playing basketball in the backyard really? with two of the boys, and your sister's playing poker with Sam. How conservative is this order? <laughs> they, uh, so but, but, you know, it's really interesting because... Um, you don't see uh, nuns in full habits almost anywhere, and certainly not in L.A. And so when they come and visit, well, you can first see, of all, you yeah. know, I, I live right near Paramount Studios, and it just right. looks like some extras have wandered off the right, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, she was the one person I, I didn't, haven't gotten her a Christmas gift yet because you can't. First of all, you can't. I bought her a black scarf one year and black gloves another year, and then you're kind of done. You can't yeah, get them anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, also, and you you can't say you know oh. Let's hope she forgot it was Christmas. She knows. Uh. <laughs> but, the, but the other thing is, nuns like her, they get everything for free because when people see them, they're so, they have an effect on you because you don't, you don't, there's such like a Like Baldwin's presence. or something like that when you see <laughs> a bald, like when you see the Baldwin's, yeah. you're like, oh, there's one. <laughs> That's right. Here, look, yeah. Ellie, right from your hand. <laughs> Well, you know, the, the street we always see each other right, on. We yeah, were, yeah. She was on that street at the bagel store. Oh, yeah. And, and she went and got the bagels, and then she went to pay for them, and the guy said, no, no, sister, you just take them. And she said, no, no, I have money here, I'll pay for them. And he said, no, no, take them, sister, take them, take them. Really? So she walks out the store, and a guy runs up to her and says, sister, I found this $20 bill on the street, and I want you to have it for whatever your charity is. And she said, oh, no, you keep it, that's okay. And he goes, no, really, sister, you take it, I want you to have it. And she said, well, thank you very much. And just as he walked away, a young girl ran up and said, that's my $20, I just dropped it on the street. And so my sister said, well, oh, I'm sorry, here, take it. And the girl had it, and she looked at my sister, and she goes, oh, forget it, you take that's it. That's right. <laughs> that's right, you would have to do that. Yes. You can't take $20 from a nun, from it's a bad nun. luck. Even if it's yeah. your $20. Even if it's your $20, that's, that's right. bad. You can't. That's right. Now, I, so if you, you come from an Irish Catholic family, yes. clearly. Yes, So are you a huge disappointment then to the family? Because your sister, <laughs> your sister is a nun, and you're a strumpet on television. <laughs> well, it, 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 there, there was a, um, a point where she actually did tell me that she didn't think you could be a Christian and an actress at the same time. Right. But yeah. that changed when we made a big donation to the uh, condo. Ah, <laughs> yes. And they needed an, an upgrade, so. No, you know, it, it, was, it was, she thought Raymond was a racy show. It, it was a racy <laughs> Hey, it's kind of a Raymond week this week. Ray's on tomorrow I night. Know. Great. Do you want to leave a sort sorry. of like? Do you want to set a trap for him oh, or something? Oh yes, we should think up something. Because he'll be sitting right there. We should think up something. We should do what something. We, we should do? probably like leave some poo in his dressing room or something. <laughs> that, did I, I go I, over I, the line? I did, did it I go on over the Raymond. Line? It didn't phase him. No, yeah, no. yeah. He's no. very nice. He's Ray, so isn't he? nice, and I'm so happy about his show, and it's getting incredible reviews. There was even a huge article in the New Yorker. I never read that. I, well, he doesn't either. I yeah. think I have to call him and tell him that it's in there. So. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you do you read the the Intelligentsia Press? Do you read the New Yorker with the cartoons that nobody understands, and they all go ah ha 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 ha? Yeah. <laughs> no, those cartoons—they're under.
understand. Yeah, huh? you don't understand them. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Would you say that if your sister was sitting here? <laughs> Yes, yeah, she reads. Yes, no, it's it's a. It's a I'm, I'm fascinated by your sister. Who's yes. how many kids are in the family? There's five of us. All right. And then, so but, you're Irish Catholic, so yes. right. yeah, yeah, uh, You know, when I was growing up, five was normal. My mother was one of fifteen. Wow. And I have over a hundred first cousins on my mother's side of the family. Really? Yeah. In fact, my husband, who's British, swears that I only married him because I had to marry someone out of the country to be sure I wasn't related to them. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think that's a fair bet. <laughs> yeah. When did your people come over then? When did the Heatons come over? Um, it was actually the herds. And the it herds. Was, and it wasn't herds. herds, yeah, great yes. herds of them. Yes. Like, like, like wildebeest. Yeah. <laughs> H-U-R-D. It was early. It was like 1700s. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah, it was very early. And then where did they go? To Cleveland? Ohio. Yeah, yeah I think they were in, started in Connecticut and then came to Ohio. So that's yeah, where so you go. You get out of Ireland. And there's and, a, and, yeah, and there's a lot of us. and, and um, and and you know Irish cat it's like a it's a big club it's probably the same I'm with Scottish with people. I'm familiar with well my, but my the father's Irish, mother something. was an Irish Catholic and my father's yeah. father was an Irish Protestant. Oh. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Was... And my father was thing. born on St Patrick's Day. Oh really? Yeah. That's, it was crazy. There more, was like fights all around the house yeah. all the time. <laughs> Well, you know, it was funny because when my, my sister, the nun, was here and I took her to the beach and she's still in the full habit, you know, walking through the sand, every, first of all, every homeless guy came up to her. Right. And every one of them was an Irish guy <laughs> who said, you know, sister, it's Tim Flannery from yeah. St. Brendan's, as if she should know who they are. And, and every, one, every, every homeless guy was an Irish Catholic drunk. And um... <laughs> Which beach is it you go to? Because... <laughs> Santa Monica. There's really? a lot of homeless guys. There. And they're all Irish. But was, you know what's interesting? You know who else related to her? Who? The Orthodox Jews. Because, really? you know, our neighborhood is also very Orthodox yeah, yeah, Jewish. Yeah. And I took her over to this shopping center, the Grove, that's a, a, a or like hubbub. You oh, know? yeah, they're familiar with it. It's the center of, of our universe. <laughs> You know, it's one of these lifestyle malls with the movie theaters and the, the dancing fountains. Doesn't lifestyle mall just means it's a mall, but it's outdoors? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we're walking through there to go to the movies, and an, an Orthodox gentleman is walking by, and he look, he kind of clocks my sister, and he kind of gives her like a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> like they're two sides of the same coin, uh, you know? Right, we, yeah. we, we both I, got a costume. I yeah. wear a lot of black in the summer, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Precision, we're completely out of time. It's lovely oh, to see are? you. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. No, sorry about that. I have a show on right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Patricia's yeah. got a okay. show on. It's awesome. What's it called again? The Middle. The Middle. ABC. It's on ABC. Good <laughs> <laughs> evening, everybody. We're right back. Please welcome the lovely Patricia Heaton, everybody. From What is it, a snake? Yeah, you've seen oh, that before. Oh. It's my Freudian compensation for a small uh. penis thing. <laughs> okay, glad I asked. Yeah, well, you, you, how are you doing? You all right? I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, it was great. Good, I'm good. back You look work great. You look very some, nice. I'm working on I like it. The it's hard. It's, you like the purple. It's I a do, good TV yeah. color. Yeah. It's a nice TV color. Yeah. It reminds me of Prince and... <laughs> A lot of uh, very, it's a bishop's color, isn't it? Don't it, bishops wear purple? Uh, I think so, yeah. 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 Prince, though. Prince? Do you like Prince? I do like Prince. I always Very talented. Really? I wish he would do a gospel album. He'd be great at a gospel album. He probably is watching right now. <laughs> He probably is. No, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know that he would do. Maybe he should do gospel. I don't know much about gospel music. Do you yeah. follow gospel music? Well, you know, my first job uh, on Broadway, I was in the chorus of a black gospel musical. I was one of two white singers in the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was called "Don't Get God Started." Oh, right. Yeah. And, and, but you probably did get him started, <laughs> didn't you? Get started. And um, I remember my my manager at the time. Uh, was this uh, gal, Pat Sullivan. Pat Sullivan? Yeah. I don't know Pat Sullivan, <laughs> yeah. but I like her already. Yeah, she's not like this. She's like, Pat. A, 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 Pat, a guy or a A lady? woman. A woman, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. She's like, Patty, you go to church, don't you? I'm like, yeah. Why don't you go try out for this show? You need a gospel song. 
And I'm like, well, I go to a Catholic church and, uh, you know, I, what kind of show? Yeah, just go, go sing a song. Well, I get there, it's, the, it's like the black Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir and right. me auditioning for what's, the thing. What's a tabernacle? Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. It's like the best black gospel choir yeah, in I New know, York. I, I, I know, but That's what's a tabernacle? A tabernacle's a church? Uh, a tabernacle's a church? <laughs> I don't know what a tabernacle is. I've heard it. I know it's connected with a church. I know it's a churchy word, but I didn't know well, like the a, actual a tab tabernacle. The tabernacle would be like the interior, like holy of holies. Really? Yes. Tabernacle? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of an adorable <laughs> word for something like that. <laughs> Little old tabernacle right there. <laughs> yes. So there, the, the tabernacle. So that's just the name of this choir. Right, but anyway, right. this, so it's all them and me. And I had just come from like a commercial for like Palm Olive soap, like I was auditioning. So I was like in a denim skirt and a white blouse and a red knit vest with a scarf. <laughs> and, and I go in and it's like, hey, Missy, what are you going to sing for us today? And it's like, well, um, I have something. It's, it's just sort of like a gospel song. It's not really a gospel song, but I'll sing it for you. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, and, you, but I say? sang yeah. um, a song called Suddenly Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. I know that song! Yeah. <laughs> for my black gospel musical audition. You got the and job! I got the job! Yeah. Yeah. Well done! <laughs> Did you ever? And they had to, you know, it was, it was one of these... Um, one of these things where they kind of wanted to test if I really had rhythm. And so at the callback, they made us do this. <laughs> you know, oh, I see, I, I didn't even yeah, do yeah, it there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. if you'd get it now. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, it's kind of it's kind of one of those things in a gospel choir. Yeah. Right? And um, my friend Norwood Young, who lives down the street from me now in L.A., right. um, he, he looks over at me and he goes, we know who they're testing when they're making us all do that step. Because <laughs> I was the only white person there. Really? Yes, but I got the job. And by the way, mm -hmm. so Norwood and I are both, we both get the job and we're in this choir I'm glad together. I asked this question. Yes. I mean, it's really... I mean, some people don't give a comprehensive answer, Patty, but my <laughs> lord, you're, you're really bringing your A-game tonight. In fact, I don't really need to be here. You no. take the cup and I'll bugger off. Right, Norwood lives down the street. You and Norwood still talk, that's know, adorable. But you Norwood know. has the house in L.A. that has the 18 statues of David oh, in the Oh, you know that guy? Yes. That's Norwood? Oh, we were in a black house oh, together. Oh, I love that house. years ago. There's this house in L.A. If you don't know L.A., there's a house you drive by. It's, the, it's on 3rd uh, it, Street, Yes, it? right. And he, it's all, outside is all these different uh, plinths yes. with all different size statues of Michelangelo's yes. David. Yes, there's all 18 of them eight, surrounding the driveway. And the house is painted... It drives the neighbors crazy, oh, right? Oh, well, I just adore it. And I especially at Christmas, because he puts a Santa hat on every statue of David. <laughs> Miss Heaton, take me home with you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't, I don't oh, you know. have an addition to the show, Oh, you have me? No, no. It's, it's, uh, it's my sidekick. CBS uh, really uh, showed up with the money this year. And... <laughs> They got me an appliance as a sidekick. <laughs> Does it have a name? Yeah, it, it is Jeff Peterson. He's a gay oh, robot. And, uh, oh, my. Well, I don't know if he's gay. His, his uh, junk hasn't arrived. It's stuck in customs. Is that junk? You mean junk? Is that a word? Is that a euphemism for... Uh, for gen gentleman's equipment? Oh, yeah. Like luggage. L Do you say luggage? Is it right? Is that what you call it? Luggage? Well... <laughs> I have to carry it around, I suppose, but I don't know. I have to, well, you've got four boys. You've probably... I do, yes. Yeah, so you've probably used oh, all sorts all, of different words oh, and, for it. Oh, and by the way, I have to say, because I completely forgot, happy birthday, Sam. It's today. I forgot. Oh, it's so lovely your mother decided to appear on <laughs> a, a late-night television said. show on your birthday. Happy birthday. I've forgotten a lot of stuff. I forgot to pick up my son from camp this summer. Um, I forgot birthday today. I'm really, I, I and, and I forgot the back to school night last week. Are you on a lot of medication right now? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 
on enough medication. Right. That's the uh, problem. Uh, yes. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Guess, uh, yeah. So it's mm. I'm, I'm I have a lot. It's, it's sort of like the show. You know, my character's always trying to stay on top of everything, and I'm trying to stay on top of everything. And I and and I it, it's just my life and the character's life are completely one and the same. Really? So, yeah. So that's what the show's about. It's about the uh, yeah the running trap. after the kids and stuff. Yeah. And you know, it's it's kind of a celebration. You don't do that. You're a big Hollywood big show. You probably got. I, I don't know. And stuff. We have, you know I really love being with my kids. In fact. My husband and I realized that we had not been alone together for two years now because we are always doing stuff with the kids. So, but we really enjoy it. I mean, they're funny, you know. The other day I was with Dan in the car and we were comparing epic uh, movie songs. So it was, who was the best one? Rock, the theme from Rocky, Eye of the Tiger, or The Final Countdown? Oh, uh, Final Countdown. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, final. no, 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 no. It's the final. Fun is my 11 year old. We're like, we listen to each one. He's got his iPod as we're driving to school, you know, and he's like, Rocky, and he's like, Yeah, and then <clears throat> Eye of the Tiger in the final countdown. And he's like, Mom, Bill Conti, what can you say? And he's 11. Yeah. And I thought, Oh, he's, you know, it's that kind of stuff that's so much fun. Yeah, no, it's good. You yeah. know what? I was, I was driving to him with my son into the parking lot at school, and there was yes. a kid that he hadn't seen for the whole summer. Yes. And he sees him getting out of his parents' car, and he says, well, if it isn't William. <laughs> Just like that. How old is he? Nine. Nine. <laughs> well, if it isn't William. <laughs> We're gonna take a break. We'll be right oh, back. Okay. We'll be right back with Patricia Eaton, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll include you. Yeah, no, we, we've never met before. We were just catching up. We used to be in a gospel choir together. <laughs> I think I... So you were... Was that your idea then when you were starting out? You wanted to be uh, working on Broadway and you ended up with Raymond? Well, yeah, I mean, I would just... I'll just take a job wherever I could get it, you know? Really? Yeah, well, a lot so of... So will I, well, <laughs> people say to me, how do you choose between all the offers that you get? And yeah. I'm like, you know what? I get one call a year and I always say yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's how I choose. I know people yeah. say this. People think it's a very kind of privileged life. I get the same question people say to me, oh, when you were drinking, how much did you drink? I'm like, I don't know. It's not Weight Watchers. I didn't give a... <laughs> Keep a diary. You yeah. don't wake up in the dumpster and go, mm, 14 units <laughs> last night. Uh oh. Do you yeah. have that problem with your excessive drinking? Um, I have. <laughs> I I have had. You don't drink anymore. No, not anymore. Yes, no, no. no I don't. Hence the pants. <laughs> yeah. Hence the. Pants. Hence the pants. <laughs> yeah. I, if pants. I was still drinking, I wouldn't be wearing right, pants. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I've had to pretty much stop drinking. Really? Yeah. Well, you're not much of a drinker. Either. Well, I, there was a period from co college was just forget about it. Right. And then, uh, and then New York, that's another nine years, forget about right, that. Right, right. That pattern begins to emerge. And, and then I had kids and I was like, Wah. Way, uh, way, <laughs> way. Kids was a big drinking part of your uh, it's life? It's really interesting. I, it, when they're little, it's so, it's so intensive, the work, and it's nonstop. And when you get them to bed, you just, you just, I just was like, I would get up in the morning thinking, orange juice or a beer? Is it too early for a beer? <laughs> and I would be, at the end of the day, I'd be so tense, I just needed to, to, to calm down and, and, um. Do they know about this in the tabernacle? <laughs> I put the I, I put the kids down um, uh, to bed, and then I went downstairs and I poured myself a glass of red wine. And then, of course, one of them says, "Mom, could you come back? I'm giving another snuggle." And I went back up, and he's like, "Mom, you smell like Santa." No. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> Even better, he said, Mom, you smell like communion. Oh. <laughs> well, that, and I was like, that's, that's exactly what I was doing in the kitchen, and taking communion. Taking communion in the kitchen. Yes, when but the kitchen I have bad. just found, I'm a, a lady of a certain age now. Me too. And, and yes, and I cannot... 
process alcohol anymore. Yeah. It, it wakes me up in the middle of the night if I have a glass of wine. And you so can I, drink through that, but if you really, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're really, yeah, if, if you're, you're really committed, committed, yeah, you could well, yes. woke up, oh, keep drinking, yes. and then you can get past but it. But you know, the other thing is this schedule on the middle with Raymond, I worked from like 10 to 4, and kind of an easy schedule. This, I, you know, I started at 6 o'clock this morning, so I was up at 5, and, you know, worked from 6, and I got, I had a half day today, so I was done by 1 o'clock, but normally you wow. work from 6 till about 8 at night, oh, and, and longer, like so I can't, I can't afford to look bad in the morning, and I will if I... If I drink. Oh, you look sensational, and you're, you're, you're just, uh, it's lovely to see you, you again. Too. Lovely. Patricia Eaton, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Patricia Heaton, everybody. Look on the show. It's, this is my opportunity. To no, go. you look fantastic. Oh, yeah, you going somewhere you. swanky after the show? No, just home to my kids and my husband. And That's swanky yeah. enough. <laughs> Sorta. Sorta. Of. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you got four boys, haven't you? Four boys. Two, oh, yeah. two of them are out of the house, though. Oh my. Yeah, Lord. I know. Oh. The second one just left, so it's been you a little. You two left. It's all right. You still get that kind of farty smell going a, around. A little bit as you just go by their room. Yeah. I never see them. They're up in their room. We said, you know, we had we had this summer what was probably our last family vacation together. You know, Where'd you go? Uh, we went to Italy. Oh, what's that? I was just talking about Italy you, earlier on. You yeah. were... Did you know that Dracula was from Italy? <laughs> I didn't know that. No, no. Where'd you go in Italy? We went along the Amalfi Coast. Oh, nice. But we started in Pompeii, which, you know, the boys were sort of, they're teenagers, they just want to be gaming, and so they're kind of dragging their feet. And so I said, but Pompeii, you'll see people that were killed with the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're all in the pose of, like, they were brushing their teeth, and then the, the, the lava came down, and they're still Did in they that brush pose. their teeth? in ancient Rome? Yes, they did a lot in ancient Rome. It was very interesting. We had this great tour guide yeah. who, you know, Americans are idiots because, you know, we laugh at people with accents, you know, but of course... <laughs> Thank God! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Else I'd be out of job! <laughs> So, um, so, but you know, here's this wonderful tour guide who speaks English. I don't speak Italian, but he right. speaks a number of languages. And He's like, come over here, have a look at these. He's yeah. very nice. Oh, yes, yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. And, and, um, but he, he, like, certain things he said were so great. He would, he would show us the interior of a house, and he would say, you see, uh, the color of the walls uh, has uh, been uh, impregnated with the paint. Ah, uh, nice. And all summer we've been saying, uh, you uh, don't want to get the girl uh, impregnated, yeah. or I will kill you. You know. It you was, say that to your boys? I say that to my boys, yes. Yeah, no, it, yeah it was a nice way of telling them to yes, yes. I, I guess. <laughs> Are you very forthright about talking about sex with your kids? I am not. Oh, right, good. No. I, mean, <laughs> I don't approve uh, of that kind of thing. <laughs> well, you know, here's, here's, here's what happened to me. Uh, you're Scottish. You come from that very cold, shut down. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah, yeah. Right? Well, you know, I'm from this sort of Irish Catholic family, and, and my mom sat me down in the kitchen around about when I was in the sixth grade, and she explained the mechanics. And of course, I couldn't look at, you know, it was, I was like this, and she was talking to me. Yeah. And she's explaining the mechanics. The mechanics of, 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 of all sex. of sexual congress. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, sexual congress. Yes, yes. Con sexual congress is yes. the only congress that's working right that now. Because that's yeah. why I'm next to it. Uh, So, so she explains the mechanics, and then she says to me, but it's not so bad because you fall asleep right after it's over. <laughs> it's like, that doesn't sound very fun. And it really made me think, because my grandparents had 15 children, and I thought, what? well, they certainly had a lot of kids for something that doesn't sound like it wasn't fun. So, yeah. well, maybe um, they just really liked naps. <laughs> yeah, yes. I can't get to sleep. Uh, well, come over here. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't want your... I, your I, mom? Who told... Who told nobody me? told me anything. I still am not sure. I'm <laughs> fuzzy on a lot of areas. That's really? Nobody mentioned a damn thing. Really? Not a damn thing. Nothing. And of course, they didn't do it in school in those no, days. No, in Scottish I, school, they showed us a couple of frogs and went, look, they're married. And that's it. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it was, it was, I mean, really, I was, sex was shameful yes, and not yes. to be talked about. Right, that's, that's exactly correct. And that's great correct. because that enhances it when yeah. you actually get to <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, makes yeah. It adds a little bit of spice. Yes, yeah. So that's... So you went to Italy, though, that's nice. But Italy was, I mean, you know... Did you see I, George Clooney? Huh, I know. We, I wasn't, He's wasn't there all the time, apparently. Apparently, but I think that's in a different area. But you know, we did, um, went in Amalfi, the Basilica there right. uh, is St. Andrews, which is... So it pays in Scotland, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but he was Greek, I think. St. Andrew? I think so, yeah. St. Andrew was a Jew from, he was one of the 12 there apostles. Was more, there was more than one. <laughs> no, but this is, this is one of the 12 apostles. Oh, really? Yes. Well, what was he doing on the Amalfi Coast? I didn't know they got vacation because time. Because after, <laughs> after the Fourth Crusade, one of the knights went and got his bones where he was oh. buried and brought him back. And you can see there's a big bust of him with a window right here and a piece of his bone. It's a reliquary. So. Really? Yes. Oh. It, no, it was amazing because, you know, that, like, he was one of the 12 apostles, so you see the, the bone that, like, spent three years with Christ. I mean, it was sort of like, I looked at it, it was like, it was really real. I mean, I, I believe it's real, but, I mean, when you see the bones, you think, you think wow, that's like, well, I mean, look, you know, I, like, here it's like, oh, you know, in a galaxy far, far away, all this stuff happened. But when you No, get, no, I've <laughs> met, I have met uh, Carrie Fisher. She's a real person. She actually exists. <laughs> But it was really borderline it was, real, but, but certainly. <laughs> but it was it was really moving for me to be there, you know. And the Italians, for them, it's all that's all. This, they have bones of everybody over there. Yeah, they've got that. Haven't they got that church made out of bones? They, Jeff, you'd love it over there, man. It's yeah. like bones everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That well, in Rome, there's a cappuccin like monastery where you walk in and you're looking around and everything, the artwork and the light fixtures, all look nice until you really look and then it's all human bones and skulls. Yeah, that. Yeah. See that? I mean. Each to his own. I'm kind of, you know. You know what it does, though. It's sort drywall of is fine <laughs> with me. Uh, I'm all right. But I think what it does is it just makes you realize that life is finite. It is. And so I think that's why the Italians are so jolly and happy, and they they sort of really seize the day, carpe diem, because they're reminded that this is, you know, doesn't go on forever. And and so it they certainly take... is an amazing country. And whenever I've been to Italy, I've always thought, you know, I should I'd li I should spend more time here. Yeah. I think I'd be happier and fatter certainly. Yes. No, but they're. Not that, I mean, they're, they they're really not fresh. Food. I know. You know, what we think of Italian food over here is you go to those, some of those restaurants and it's a big thing with red sauce on it. Really, over there, it's like grilled and clean with olive oil and some vegetables and that's it, you know? Yeah, yeah. But you can get the red stuff if you ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great place and they love kids. And the cab drivers there are so cool. They've got like linen pants and Ray Bans. And my boys all ended up looking like Italian cab drivers by the time we finished. They all got like linen shirts and scarves and they were. I don't like remember chow. the cab drivers like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember the cab drivers as kind of like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you were probably in Naples. I was. I was. Yeah. I was in various towns yeah. in Italy. I've been. Uh, I've been. Do you ever go to the north? No. Oh, it's great up there. What's it like up there? Oh, it's beautiful. It's right They're on the They're blonde up there. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, yeah. That, that's that's not bad either. <laughs> blonde Italians. Blonde yeah. Italians. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Like, oh, it's my trousers are so tight. <laughs> because they're visiting from Germany. That's why. <laughs> I, 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 you're getting confused. Yeah, 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 I know. yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. Well, you're like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, we just have to shut down until we can reach an agreement. Just the way it is. Just eating everybody where we're at. I was with Patty Heaton, who was here, who last, was here night. last night. Yeah, I yeah. Saw her. Yeah, I bet you better not be showing that stuff to Patty. She's a good Christian girl. She if she <laughs> sees that show, she's a show. Yeah, she's a good Christian girl. Who, if I can quote from last night, you guys conspired to leave poop in the dressing room for me. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Am I making that up? I'm not making that no, up. No, you're not making it up. <laughs>